Hey everybody. Well, I'll tell you what we're up to today. You've probably been following the series and we've got to put one of those tarpaulin supports, brackets, whatever you want to call them, support, here. Roughly here, in this area here, and it's going to go up and back like that. So, we're strengthening this, because this right here is only roughly three-fourths of an inch thick. Maybe less than that, because they got the sideboard, you know, another, no? That's about three-fourths of an inch thick. But still, in the center here, you know, where we mounted the cleat, we put a two-by-four under there. And I'll show you the two-by-four. You see it? You see it right there? Can you see it? Yeah, I think you, yeah, that's it right there. That's, this is the two, two by four, but in between the two by four, well, hopefully you can see, yeah, there. See so in between the two by four, between here and here, I've got to put another two by four, and over here, the same thing, another two by four. But you notice that they're V-shaped, or sort of V-shaped. They're, they're straight on one side, the side with the, uh, this two by four, but they're V'd on the other side. So that's what I'm doing. I'm cutting those two. I made the measurements and uh, drawn them on this piece we of have here. He was looking upside down by that, by the way. But anyway, I've drawn them on this. So this is one here. This is this is one side that we're going to use. So I have to start my cut here and cut all the way down to where this line ends. And then I cut it off here because I'm not going to have that point going all the way back. Or maybe I will. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to cut all this off. So this will be one piece. And then I'm going to use the opposite side of the angle, which is this side, for the other side. And so I'm uh, all I have to do to get that one is to cut it right here where that line is, where that, see that line right there? I just cut this piece off and the other side is already automatically made based upon my measurements. And it should end about right here. No, right here, right here is where that should end. If I if, if I cut it off there, I, it gets smaller. So I may, again, I may just leave this piece on, on there because it would extend further. Because I'm only coming about 30 something inches up here, which is short of this cleat which is okay because my plate's gonna start about two inches from this cleat and there'll be screws in here. So as long as this is all two by four across there, underneath here, uh, I can screw and bolt into something heavy duty to hold that plate, to hold that upright. It goes up and back like that for the tarpaulin support. So I'm gonna get busy and I'm gonna cut this line right now and we will be back after it's done and we'll see it we'll cut the first one and see if it even fits or how that fits or which side it fits best on and then we'll be back with more i got my skill saw out our circular saw as we call it here in the philippines so we will be back with more see right there from my paradise on italian island all right, right everybody now. as you see i've got this one which is i'm making kind of the opposite of that one just splitting the two by four and then gonna cut it here and this should kind of match no back here back here that should kind of match this one they're not exactly equal but at the distance from this line to this line is different on each one so that's the difference well so anyway what we're doing is this piece here is basically going to go here and here like this. It's going to go up like that. So it's going to end about right at the cleat here. And that'll be a solid, pretty much a solid two by four all the way across after everything's epoxied in. Because we already got one here. And we're epoxying this up to the side here and the other one up to the side there. So you can see that. So that piece goes under there on the sides of the center two by four and that other piece there goes on this side so they should uh i'm gonna have to flip it obviously to get the angle of the right side but that's what we're doing right now so i gotta trim this up and make it fit because there's epoxy on the sides of this two by four that i have to account for there's a little gap there but it'll be all solid filled in with epoxy when it's all said and done so i'm gonna get that put this under here 
as you see in the space on this side and we'll be back with more beefing up the bow for the uh, trampoline support no tra I keep saying trampoline type tarpaulin support well, alright everybody yeah. we have the pieces cut and I could have cut the tip of this off like I did that one but this one actually goes in just fine so I'm just leaving it there because it's just more wood uh, at the bow so anyway, that's basically what they do. They straddle or come up against the sides of the 2x4 that's there already. The other 2x4 comes up to here somewhere, I don't know, around in here. And it's uh, under there. So that's basically what it is. So we're going to epoxy those bad boys and stick them in there now. So we will mix up some epoxy. We're going to use the non-sag because it's upside down and things are going to try to drip. And uh, we're going to have to wedge those in there. So we got to manufacture some little wedge blocks and stuff to hold it up there while it dries. So we're going to do that. And we'll be back with more from my paradise on Batanian Island. Yeah, baby. We're strengthening, beefing up the bow. That's what it's called. Beefing up the bow. Hey, everybody. Bye for now. All right. We cut all the wood. You can see the angled pieces there that we cut. We're working on the back right now, but we got this one done. As you can see under there, got the two two by fours on the side, braced up and epoxied in. See all the way down and on the sides, they're all snug as a bug in a rug. And so is this one here. This one should be, well, I gotta turn the camera upside down. If you wanna see that one, let's look at that one because the camera's on the side. You see that? It's all snug up against the against the side here except for there see that so we are now working on the rear we got to do the same thing there because we got to put the we have to put a uh, stainless steel plate on top of here we have to put a stainless steel plate on top of here from roughly here uh, nine inches well where this blue line is from here to there this is all going to be stainless steel plate from the edge here to here and it's all going to be screwed in with my little countersunk screws and uh, there'll be three three inch plates uh, TIG welded together and the, that plate will be screwed in just like these are see see with the countersunk screws and stuff I'll try to countersink them a little bit more, but I don't know how much more I can go because the, the stainless is pretty thin, eighth inch. It's very strong, but it's very thin. And then we'll have another one, like these are the mountains brackets here, and the center one's going to be similar to these. The bottom portion from that corner where there won't be a corner when I first get them, it'll just be a straight piece from here all the way to here. Exact same one. And then we'll weld a plate onto here. A second plate and then this plate will bolt through that plate and through those heavy two by fours so there's plenty of strength uh, here to hold because this this one's going to be going up and back just like these guys it's going to be exact same style as uh, these ones exact same and it's going to angle up and come back this way not this far but well, about 24 inches from from the front, I think, to the to where it ends. So it's about be about about to here. That's where it'll about angle up to and be above. So anyway, we got to cut these pieces. I got this one here cut, my first cut, and now I'm trimming to make it slide in there and fit per, per, perfect. So I just need to take another about an eighth of an inch off here from these spots. I've been trying to cut where it touched, but Really, it just needs a nice straight line here. So I'm going to do that with my uh, jigsaw, as some people call it. So I'm going to do that now. And this piece is going to slide in on this side here, un underneath there. And you can see here, it's the same thing. you got one 2 by 4 in the center, and then we're going to fill that gap with a 2 by 4 there, and fill the gap on this side with a 2 by 4 there. And this will all be solid two by four all the way back to 
17 inches from here back will be solid two by four. So that'll be uh, about as strong as I can make it to hold that rear uh, tarpaulin support. So I'm going to cut this and we will be back with more for my paradise on the time island. And then I've already got this angle here cut and I think this angle here is basically the opposite angle of this and that'll be the other side and the angle will be pre-cut. I just need to slide the measurement up or down to get this to fit. So we'll be back with more from my paradise on the tiny island. Bye for now. Here, I'll show you the tail of the boat. Bye for hey now. everybody. Well, today what our next step is, is to put these 2x4s, modified 2x4s, under under here. So like I said previously, we're going to have a stainless steel plate going across here. This is for the uh, tarpaulin support, the stainless steel brackets that go up and hold up the tarpaulin. This is not tarpaulin, but we'll have a tarpaulin made. But basically, we already have a 2x4 in the center here. I'll simulate it with this one here. We already have a 2x4 here. So basically, we are filling in on the sides all the way up as far as we can go, which is basically, well, here is as far as we can go. So all the way up past this cleat, this will be solid two by four from about here all the way to here. This all this whole underside of that rear deck will be solid two by so four. Anyway, we and our We'll do that and we'll be back. I go with the epoxy somewhere right there in that pile of stuff is a can of uh, non sag. We're using, again, we're using non sag, it's a beige color. Epoxy, see that beige color? Uh, marine epoxy is gray, and ordinary epoxy, general purpose, is pink. So you can kind of tell by the color too what people are using. If they don't tell you, just look at the color and you'll know. So we will be back with more from my paradise. And who is that down there? <laughs> She's actually knocking all the slag off of the original 2x4 that we epoxy because it drips down some. Even though it's not sag, it will drip and sag. And she knocked all the little stalactites or stalagmites off of there. So it's nice and smooth. Nobody's going to get stuck with a, sh I call them shark teeth. So we going to epoxy. Bye for now. Let me get back here. I'll get you the full center hole shot. Yeah, because we already got all the supports and brackets and everything made for these. These are done for the most part. This one here is still in the ma making. Saturday, today's Thursday. Saturday, we're going to have the uprights, the first phase of the uprights made and be ready to bring them out here and start figuring things out. And we'll, and when I get that, you'll see all the things that I have to do after I get the initial first because we got to add a top on those. Up here, we got a top with a V pointing over to that one and a V pointing over to that that support. And at the front, they got to point the opposite way, going back to this hole and back to that hole's support. And so that we got to figure out the length and the angles and all that stuff. So we will be back with more. You'll see. Just stay tuned. Bye, hey, everybody. Now. All right, we got uh, the epoxy done. We're cleaning up our tools now. Uh, by the way, water is what you use to wash all the epoxy off of your tools and off your hands, too, because our hands get covered. I mean, it's all in our nails and everywhere, but just water and just keep washing, and it just, it'll come right off as long as it's wet. If you let it dry, then it's a little harder, but it'll still come off like in the shower. But here is what we did today. Well, here's the ends of the three two-by-fours here. We need to epoxy the ends, but right now, and see, we got a little hole right there. I need to fill that in. So, but it's still coated with epoxy on the sides. But here's basically the underneath. With We're all propped up with these boards here. See that board that's propped up? Of course, it's dripping. It will drip. We got cardboard down here to drip on, so let's drip on that. And when it dries, then we will... Uh, uh, knock all those little shark teeth off i call them shark teeth but anyway that's basically what we did today was put all those uh, uh two by fours so this is now solid two by four all the way from here 
to here and all the way up to wherever 17 inches is. This is nine here. So another 12 inches we're up to about here. A solid two by four, this whole section here. So that'll be uh, strong enough to bolt through and to hold our uh, tarpaulin, you know, support that goes up and back some. So like I said, Saturday, that'll be ready. And both front us. and rear. So we got the front all done. Uh, it's done. We'll go up there and look at that real quick. We just leave the covers on the boats if we're not working on every hole. So anyway, this is the end result here, right there. We got pure two by fours all the way across, and we're going to, uh, of course, epoxy over these ends and paint this when it's all dried and everything. Knock all those little stuff. Well, we got all the stalactites knocked off. So we will uh, paint all this enamel just with the white enamel paint all the way down and around to just kind of seal moisture out. But under here, it should stay pretty dry, but still, yeah, it's just one more step. And it's mahogany, so it'll handle moisture and water, but nonetheless, paint it. And you don't have to worry about it. So we got her done. And the next step is... Well, I, said, well I, can't, I can show you here. This, no, yeah, I can kind of show you. See right here where the boards come through? We're going to have to widen some of these. We're going to have to shave off another eighth or quarter of an inch here and widen it because that steel bar strap right there, not that one. That one goes on right here, across here, the back side. It's just a short piece. But the long piece, it goes from the center of this all the way over to the outside of the outer hull. That's a long piece, and that's got to slide in and out with the other two by fours. It's got to slide through this little gap here and then bolt through here to here. Of course, this plate is going to be on here, so stainless steel bolts, and they got plates on both sides. So it bolts through there, and this sandwich is heavy. This is just a monster piece of wood here and uh super sturdy i hope and see there's the tube this is the removable two by four by the way i can't point to it right there this one slides out this one doesn't this is epoxied and glued and nailed and everything in, in, in place and here's the other hole right there see that so this one here i may have to cut on this side too and epoxy re-epoxy because that's just bare wood after i do that so we got re-epoxy and we'll use the non-skid uh, non skid, non sag epoxy when we're doing those cut through holes there. And uh, you can kind of see it down through here, too. See that hole right? Where's my finger? There. Yeah, see right there. We've already cut some on that. You can see the bare wood where we trim some to slide the, the steel in, the stainless steel. But we'll trim a little bit more, give it a little more wiggle room so that uh, it's easy to do everything we want to do easy we want these bolts to just slide in and out we don't want to be fighting and wrestling with stuff so that's our plan make everything smooth operation like we take off all of our tarpaulin supports they just slide out the only problem is we can't do that here these are going to have to bolt and we're going to have to get a nut a ratchet and a sock a ratchet ratchet and a socket and a wrench and unbolt this one and the back one if we want to take it off. So, not a big deal, but still, doesn't just slide out like the others. I wish it did, but I just couldn't figure out a way to do it that wouldn't get water in here. I could drill the holes in here and put stainless steel and had a slide in rod and stuff, but every wave that comes in, the water just goes in around those and starts getting everything wet inside the boat, and I don't want that. So the way I'm doing it now, this is all this is sealed, and the only place to get water in is here and all, <laughs> all the way back. And so anyway, that is it for now. So we're done with our cleanup. It is 5 o'clock, 5 till 5, 6 till 5, whatever. So it's time for us to roll. So we will be back with more. Uh, what are we going to do next? Well, today is Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Maybe we'll work on 
epoxy and cutting those holes out. I've got a little handsaw thing. It's a little, I'll show you. I actually stumbled on this at one of the hardware stores here and grabbed it well, as soon as I found it. I think I have it in here. Do I have it in here? Yes, I do. See that? That's a handy dandy little knife there. It's a little knife saw, but it'll fit in those holes. And it's super sharp teeth. And, and you just, uh, and it'll do that little eighth inch cut. Eighth inch slice. Pretty good. So uh, we're going to use that. It's got a nice comfortable soft rubber handle and everything. So it makes the work easier. So that's our tool to cut, to widen those holes slightly, ever so slightly, but just enough, like I said, to make it loose. So we got her all done, and we'll be back with more. My paradise on Bentayan Island. Whoops, my finger's on the camera. Oh, God, I, gotta, how I do that. Anyway, we'll be back with more from My Paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye for now.